What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here. Welcome back to another AC build. And the beautiful looking mech you see before you is our latest build, Moonlight Man. So this is a build entirely dedicated around both the Moonlight and the Moonlight Redshift. And I really wanted to put together a build that capitalized on those weapons and is a very unique melee playstyle. Because while it is a melee build, this build is typically played at the 200 meter range, which is pretty interesting. So either way, let's jump in and talk about it. Now, to start, for our main hand, we're actually going to be working with the Siege Missile Launcher, the Aberritif. Um, what's nice about this is it's very fast, fire and forget, and I think a big thing with Moonlight is we really want to keep the stagger up on targets, and we want to be really focused on dodging and looking for opportunities to use the Moonlight itself. So with that in mind, a Siege Missile Launcher actually works in really well here, because we're able to just fire this off and then completely forget about it, and instead focus on the dodging and the blading, which is what we want. Of course, in the left arm, we have the Moonlight Blade, and then in the left shoulder, we have the Coral Oscillator Moonlight Redshift. Now, as for our right back unit, we have the Trueno Needle Missile Launcher. And what's nice about this is in a very similar uh, kind of ideology to having the missile to keep up pressure. This allows us to keep up pressure as enemies are running. Uh, the Trueno is very effective all the way up to 310. And so if targets are trying to run away from us or we're playing a little cat and mouse game and they're going back and forth, this compared to the missile is super, super fast. So it just gives us another way to keep up pressure on that target and potentially line them up for opportunities to get big hits. Now, when it comes to doing damage, technically speaking, the most damage we're gonna get between these two blades would be a charged attack off of the regular Moonlight. However, if we have an opportunity to just hit a target outright and it's staggered, most of the time you're gonna be better off going for the one-two combo on the Redshift. The charged attack on the Moonlight is the, the highest hitting ability we have, the regular Moonlight, not the, the Redshift, but it does take a while to go off, and that's the thing. This is already gonna be an animation lock, so when we use this, we're gonna be a little stationary, and so we really need to pick and choose when and if we're gonna deploy the charge attack. Moving on to other parts, for the head, we picked up the Shader Eye. There's a couple different heads you could do here. I really just wanted to, to work in something a little bit different. Obviously, the head is quite edgy, but one of the nice things here is actually the stats. Uh, as opposed to what I usually do, which is, you know, going with the barrel, I really wanted to have a bigger emphasis this time on energy as well as boosting because we need to remain as mobile as possible because when we do take the opportunity to attack, we're locked in place while we toss out those blade beams. And so while the Veril does boast a lot of defense, you notice that we are suffering a little bit on boost speed, a little bit on quick boost speed, and most importantly here, our energy supply efficiency takes a pretty big hit, and we really want to keep our energy up and be able to stay on top of the target. On top of that, honestly, it just looks really good. It's it's a very, very edgy type look, so I figured it fit for Moonlight. Uh, as for the chest, of course, we are working with the HAL chest, picking up that excellent generator output and supply adjustment. That's going to be very beneficial. For the arms, we are using Basho for the melee benefit. As a reminder, this is worth, I believe it's 28% increased melee. Um, as for the legs, I am working with the Wrecker. I went back and forth in a lot of legs and ultimately settled back on these, even though we used them on the prior melee builds. Uh, we want to have really high stability here because the last thing we want to do is get staggered while we're in the middle of our combo. And when it comes to stability and bipeds, Wrecker kind of clears that category. I mean, we have more stability than the VE-42A. We have more stability than the Dessert. Uh, the Dessert is the only other one I'd really consider here because we do pick up a huge amount of energy efficiency on it and we get a little bit of AP, but we take a hit to our stability as well as our boost speed and our quick boost speed. And like I said, I really wanted to be as fast as possible here. As for our booster, the NGI-001, just given as high as our weight is, we definitely needed to have a beefier booster. And initially I was messing around with this with the Gridwalker. I was having some success with that, but ultimately found that Moonlight was kind of whiffing a lot if I was hitting it out from above, as opposed to being more ground level and grounded with the, the enemy. Uh, also played around with the Flugel a little bit, which comes in very close to our weight. This gave us really nice quick boosts all the way down at 0.54, but we suffered in speed a little bit there. So ended up turning away from that. Uh, since we don't really need the close range assist here, we're going to pick up the P-10 SLT, getting the missile lock correction that's going to help both our Chuenos as well as our Siege Missile Launcher. And then for the generator, we have the Santai here, picking up that 4400 capacity and still some pretty respectable recharge. I've messed around with a couple different ones, and honestly, the biggest thing that I liked about this was just having that extra capacity was really nice for me to stay on top of targets. Of course, for the expansion, we are working with Assault Armor as well. 
So moving on from there into the paint, I really like how the color scheme on this turned out. Went for, for kind of a dark blue, almost teal as our main color, and then pulled in a little bit of gold. And then going on to the, the weapon set, we kept similar color scheme for the right and left arm unit. And then for the Moonlight, as well as the Trueno, we pulled in from a red and made that the primary. So kind of like a red, gold, and black, and then a teal, gold, and black. And I think it looks pretty damn clean. But that is going to be Mr. Moonlight, Moonlight Man. Let's go on and save him with all the updates and then upload him. Really fun build to play. Definitely a, uh, a very unique, unique play style when it comes to melee, but it performs pretty well. Uh, I found most of the matches I was doing, I was, I was uh, you know, usually securing kills. So uh, I typically ended up doing pretty well, usually either top or mid in the lobby, uh, which, which works out nicely, of course. But... At the same time, don't expect this to run like thousand point dominations. It's not really that kind of build, but it does perform well, despite the fact that it is more themed and a little bit more of a gimmick. Still getting over being sick, so if I, wait, hang on, did I have a keyboard up? Let me make sure I didn't have that on still. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, but yeah, still getting over being a little sick, so if all of a sudden I just stop talking or there's an extended pause, it's probably because I just hit the mute button on the mic, because last thing I want to do is be in the middle of the video and then start hacking into the mic, because uh, being sick is not fun. To be honest, though, I think I might just... Um, I'm, I'm really considering. I'm, I'm looking to get my tonsils removed, because I didn't get them removed when I was a kid, and I know it's a little bit riskier as an adult, but... Man, I, I, every time I get sick, it's like, strep, welcome back, strep is back, strep is back. Like, this is the third time in 2023 I've caught strep. And I get it, I have kids that are, well, I have one kid that's in preschool, which is just a little germ factory. Uh, but I feel like between him and travel, I constantly get sick, and it's always right in the throat. So, on top of that, I'm a pretty bad snorer as well. So I think getting the, the tonsillectomy, you know, two birds with one stone, less sickness, less snoring, sounds like a win-win to me. I got a buddy who's an oral surgeon though, so I'm gonna talk to him, gauge his thoughts on it. Either way, I got some Huxleys. That's a stun baton, you don't see that a lot. I think this is gonna be a clean sweep here, unless this guy is god tier pilot. I think I have this in the bag already. You can kind of see what I was talking about there with how has a little bit of a, a whiff. Trying to hit it from above. Uh, keep in mind the maximum range on the Moonlight Blades just a pinch under 300 meters. So like if you started at like 290 and they're not moving at all, you can hit. But in general, try to initiate it from like 200 to 250. Just because that way you have you have more consistency. I mean, as much as stuff moves, I tend to try and stay right around 200. That way if it backs up a little bit, I'm usually still clear. to keep in mind as you're doing this is if you're in the middle of doing a uh, if you're in the middle of doing like your your missiles or whatever you're not going to actually be able to swap the moonlight so as I was practicing this one thing I noticed is I'd like hit the missiles and then try to hit the button to swap my moonlight while you're in that missile launch animation you're not going to be able to initiate that swap so just be smart about your swaps you know last thing you want to do is be like wait a minute I thought I swapped I didn't and then you get hit because you're playing with the weapon that's on cooldown is he used to pulling out a different AC? What are you doing? Uh, he's taking a while. Sorry. I think after this one, I might try and do a, a theme build. I've had a lot of people asking if I was going to do, uh, you know, are you going to make anything that's like a... Uh, no, we're not. We're not doing this. I, I get what he wants to do, but I'm not interested in that. Must have a punch off. Um, 
But I've had a lot of people ask if I'll do like theme builds, like a Gundam build or something, so... I'll have to look into it. I remember I made like a, a Wing Zero back in 5. And that was, that was pretty fun. I did Wing Zero and then uh, I had like a Wing Zero custom variant where it would pull out the super Giga Cannon and it would fire that and then, you know, throw it away. That was pretty cool. So I might try and make, make him again. I don't know, I haven't seen any of the new Gundam stuff. Maybe make an Evangelion build. So at this point, I feel like this was this is kind of the a closing chapter on like builds I really wanted to do. I feel like I've tried out the weapons that I'm a big fan of. I've tried out a couple of the the more gimmicky stuff, you know, the flamethrowers, the chainsaw, the double moonlight. I do want to do something with a dagger, but that feels like it would fit pretty easily into like the Evangelion build if I do that. So. Probably save that for a different setup. So he's got the Worger and oh, and the, this is gonna be good. He's got a pretty, pretty dangerous loadout if he knows how to use it. Looks like he does not know how to use it. I fucked that up too at the start. I accidentally quick turned away from him, didn't have my boost on. I was like, oh, nope, nope, button confusion, what's happening? I can't believe he just stood there and let me hit that. I just I feel like he let me bully him. That was brutal. And part of the thing is a lot of the, the like super cool Gundams, like uh, like Death Scythe. You know, there's no giant energy scythe in this game. So I can't really uh, can't really do anything there. Um, Wing Gundam would probably be possible. I might be able to do like heavy arms since that's just like I don't know. Honestly, I'd have to like go back and like look at the look at the mobile suits in Gundam. I know I've had people ask for like what about a you know, what about Nine Ball or White Glint, but it's like it, it's kind of overdone to be honest. So many people have been like, oh, I am Nine Ball. I am Nine. I am Nine Ball. I am Nine Ball. And it's like yes, you're all you're all Nine Ball. So this should be really interesting. This is all going to be about my ability to dodge. Pure needle build is... This is a pretty deadly setup. Needle guns and double truenos. I haven't seen many people running this, but I would argue this is probably one of the scarier close range builds. Because it has it has burst potential similar to that of like Zimmerman's, but they're usually very zippy. If they stay up on you, it builds up and you're just like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's too late. So we're gonna see if I can do my 200 meter keep away that I was talking about. I said this is, I wanna keep him out of my range because if he gets close, well that's the thing. See, that's what's cool about that build is the Tyrannos. If you're staying at 200, the Tyrannos are, are gonna come after you. If you're staying closer than that, the needle guns are gonna come after you. Okay. Nope. That was too easy of a bait. I was like, oh, we're gonna round the explosive thing and jump on top of me? Let's see what happens there. I'm sure this couldn't possibly go poorly. Nope, dead. 
GG's. Yeah, so like I said, even though it's a uh, it's a bit of a gimmick build, it actually actually works pretty well. I think. Um, I'll see if I can find a team game. If I can't, I'll just create one. Rex Man Cobra, what a name! Beantown Blaster. <laughs> what? We have here. Uh huh. Uh, this looks like a pre-made and, and me with misfits on my team. Well, whatever. It's only one loader for it. Maybe we'll pull it off. I have a feeling I'm going to have both the, uh, the default boys with me, though. Bro, oh, come on, start the match. Got Zimmerman's and lasers. He's got laser pistols. He should be fast with that. Zimmerman's Sweet 16 Chirenos. He'll be a little dangerous. Zimmerman's and shoulders. What are he swapping to? This is a, I guess he's trying to keep people within the range of his lawn. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I find this actually works pretty well against uh, the Zimmermen as well. So we're going to call them from now on Zimmermen. But yeah, because like, they'll usually try and rush you and like 90% of the time, most Zimmermen don't know how to dodge. They just catch a Moonlight Blade to the face and then two more Moonlight Blades to the face and then a Chirano and then they're dead. I like his little purple thing. It looks like uh, my niece's phone. Very bedazzly. As long as this guy's fast enough with those pistols, he should clean house. And then, of course, we have our own Zimmerman with the dual laser drones, which I don't think particularly work well with that combo. It's interesting that two of them are doing that. down Goodbye Taken down by the respawns. Uh, unit one is the lowest. I go after him on spawn. Unit one should I should be able to finish him with like one or two of my blasts. down.
No, the kick. Oh, man. He's just barely scooting by. Come on, team. Finish him. There we go. Terminal's up. Unit 2's down. Unit 3 is rebooting. We can bully Unit 1 before the reboots happen, probably. Looks like it's exactly what they're doing. Sky. He's dead now. There we go. Those rockets will finish you off. top of me. We're looking pretty good though. We have a very commanding lead at the moment. Just in case, we're gonna double up and fire those out. to die though. They'll clean that up. There goes his terminal. One hit on unit two. Finish it. There we go. Very, very nice job. Pretty clean victory there. Looking at it. See, like I said, not not too bad. Not necessarily destroying things, but right, right there under first. Solid uh, 686 there. Worked out quite well. See if these dudes change things up or ready on up. Moonlight Man's always ready to go. I'm gonna get a couple new people in. We'll just stay in this lobby. Bam, bam. Maybe stay in the lobby. Changing, uh, changing things a lot. Pill Cosby, what a name. What is he playing with? Jesus. Having a whole lot of people join.
Okay, come on. What is what is happening? There we go. It's the only spam that's acceptable is the I want to sortie. Get that match going. Uh, unit one, looks like Pill Cosby wants to be priority target. But zero, two, and three are both almost dead, so they're gonna go down first. Shoot with your melee attack. Wowzer. I knew I was going down soon. I was like, man, I've been I've been alive a little longer than I expected here.
No! Oh, man. They did not want to leave me alive that time. I mean, smart. They, they ignore me, and I'm just out here moonlighting everyone's ass off. But if they can finish 0-1 here, which looks like they will. 0-1's down, and they rush down 2. gotten the kill. Would have inched out another one there. There we go. An 821. Did some work that time. Oh, I just noticed they pulled me onto the uh, the losing team from last round. Carried the shit out of that. GG's. Uh, either way, that is going to be it for the Moonlight Man. Um, I guess a better name would probably be like Moonlight Master. So let's rename him Moonlight Master. We'll do that. Uh, either way, though, we are going to wrap things up here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, can I? I'll see if I can even fit that. I might not be able to. Moonlight Master. Oh, I can. Oh, okay, okay. Change a C name, Master, and then we're going to re upload it because he has a new name. There we go. All right, so use this code. Either way, this will be the one in the description. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time with more.